Welcome back to Ohio Sports Zone. I am now joined by my co-anchors, Morgan Lundquist and Alex Utano. And in light of Thanksgiving that's quickly approaching, we're going to do a feast or famine segment discussing who is feasting in the MAC and who had a famine this year. So it's going to be a fun segment, and I'm going to throw it to Morgan for the first feast. Well, our first feast is on the volleyball team. Like you said earlier in the show, they are just doing a phenomenal job in the MAC. 16-0 is their record and they are just unstoppable, it seems. Now, my senior outside hitter, Kelly Lombardi, is actually the person who I'm going to be talking about. She has had a great year as well. She has left an impact on this, or in this, oh, excuse me. She has left an impact on this team. As a senior, she definitely will be missed. She was a 2014 preseason All-Mac East Division pick, which definitely gave her a leg up because all the competition obviously saw that she was going to be great this season. However, she was definitely one to look out for this season. She recorded nine double-doubles in her last 12 matches, 15 this season, and 64 in her career while, re while reaching her double-digit kills in 25 of 27 matches in 2014. This girl just cannot be stopped. Well, you go volleyball, I'll go volleyball <laughs> as well. I'm going to go Abby Gill, and she has just been phenomenal for this volleyball team all year. Like you said, they went 16-0 and in the MAC, and she was a huge part of it. Uh, this year, she won the MAC Player of the Year for volleyball, which is, of course, incredibly impressive. It's a real big uh, showing of what she can do on the court and how she played a big role in this team's success. And it's not only that, she also had a lot of statistics in the MAC that really stood her out from amongst the rest of the Bobcats here. She was fifth in the MAC in hitting percentages with a 336. She was second in the MAC in assists per game with 10.52 per game, and she was also ninth in the MAC in service aces with .23. She also had 144 kills on the year, so it just shows how much talent is on this Ohio volleyball team, and as you heard earlier in the show, they're really posed to make a run, and I think she's going to be a big part of it, and if she's just going to have to continue her success if they want to make a run in the MAC and national tourney for volleyball. Yeah, it's getting a little competitive up in here with the feasts and famines with our anchors, but I'm going to toss it over to Morgan for a chance to retaliate. All right, you say volleyball. I'm going to say volleyball one more time with our famine, however. My famine is number eight, Allie Lake. This is a 6'1 redshirt freshman on the volleyball team. She is not having the debut season that she hoped for, I am sure. She is the lowest on the team for sets with only 18, and she's the lowest on the team for points with only 14 out of Ohio's 1,763 points so far this season. She hasn't been much of an impact, though, again, she is only a redshirt freshman. She has that time to grow. She just wasn't doing as much as she possibly could have been for her team. Well, in the football aspect, there hasn't been too much joy as well as we talked about earlier. They fell to Northern Illinois 21-14 to last night. And I'm going to talk about the quarterbacks here. Both Darius Vick and J.D. Sprague both hoped that they would have better years this year. However, it is not the case this year. Vick has right now played, appeared in seven games. His passing completion percentage is a 59.2. He's thrown for 10, th or excuse me, 1,035 yards, six touchdowns, three interceptions. Yes, he does also have 329 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. But when you see six touchdowns in seven games, you really got to it really just shows that he's got to step it up. And as well with J.D. Sprague, this year Sprague has appeared in nine contests and has thrown 50% or less in five of those games to bring his total up to 48.5 completion percentage. He's thrown for 1,185 yards, excuse me, 83, with three touchdowns and three interceptions. So the air attack is not there for Ohio. Yes, he does have three rushing touchdowns from 245 yards, but it just shows he's got to step it up on the field. That's been a real big problem for Ohio. This is the first time in a while, if we are to lose to Miami, that they had a losing record to end the year, it would cost them a bowl champion, uh, excuse me, a chance to win their third bowl in program history. So if they want to end up getting that win in Oxford against the much-hated Miami Red Hawks, they're going to have to definitely step that air attack up. And you did mention, uh, not to pick sides, but <laughs> you did mention the OU quarterbacks as your famine. And I would like to add, when you're looking at the amount of touchdowns, you know, Darius Vick might have, you also have to consider the amount of interceptions he's thrown as well. So that's just another thing to add to the famine, but I'm going to send it to Morgan. Well, you two say famine for football. <laughs> I will say feast. My feast is running back A.J. Woolett, and she, he is a walk-on 
195 pound true freshman. He has just had a phenomenal year. He's been a huge impact on the team this year, like we said earlier in the show. He did score two touchdowns against Northern Illinois, the only two touchdowns on Tuesday scored by the Bobcats. He is the highest amount of rushing yards on the team so far with 562 yards and scored seven touchdowns this season. Now, I'm going to compare that to J.D. Sprague, who has scored three touchdowns, the second highest number of touchdowns scored on the team. So comparing that three and seven, A.J. Woulet is just knocking the touchdowns out of the park. And last but not least, I got Joe Breslin as a feast. He's got nine goals, 11 assists, and 20 points. His 11 assists and 20 points are both team best this year. He's done a fantastic job on the line with Patrick Spelsey and Michael Harris. So if they can keep that up, they're going to be a real threat to win the national tourney for ACHA Hawks. That was it for Feast and Famine. From everyone at Ohio Sports Zone, have a great Thanksgiving.